mushroom hunting adventure. Uh, we've been driving for a couple hours and uh, it's going to be another hour to our, our mushroom hunting spot. The mushroom that we're after today is a, uh, a pine mushroom, also known as uh, Matsuteke. That is the, uh, the Japanese word for them. This mushroom is picked a lot commercially and then it's uh, shipped, shipped to Japan. But we're just out here just to pick them for, uh, for fun. We love them. They're, they're very, very tasty mushrooms. Uh, we're not going to sell any of our mushrooms. There's no, no way we're going to do that. So uh, it's a, as you can see, it's a, a rainy day today and it's quite cool too. But this is perfect weather for mushrooms, especially the pine mushroom. So we're feeling quite optimistic that we're going to get something today. We're just waiting for Bun here though. We, we just stopped for a little break and as always, uh, uh, she just zips off into the woods and sees if she can find any, uh, any mushrooms. Uh, and you know, she usually finds some. selected this spot here because it's fairly it's fairly flat going through here so we'll just uh, sneak into there and have a look there's one ah nice little button oh it's a nice one here's another one Pop it out. There. There we go. Two nice little buttons. This is the perfect for eating. Okay. There. Our first two of the day. This is a, a lovely, admirable bullet. There's a lot of evidence of other mushroom pickers already going through. And this is the most telltale sign. Some people take it upon themselves to pick mushrooms and then just leave them there. This is also a sign of a picker. And you see these holes like that. That's where somebody pulled out a mushroom. Oh, there's another beauty. Look at that. So we're just gonna move down to another spot and have a have a look there. As you can see, there's cars up ahead and there's there's actually cars all through here and uh, a lot of people picking through here. So all you can do is just uh, keep moving around and uh, seeing what you can find and, uh, and hopefully you, you can stumble into a nice good patch. So one of the challenges is to always try and figure out exactly where you should uh, head into the forest. There's so many different choices but uh, one thing to think about is, uh, is an area that looks like it's reasonably easily accessible for you. However, you don't want something that's too easily accessible because that's also where a lot of other people might have gone. Like this spot here actually entails a creek crossing. Let's go! Oh, sorry. <laughs> It was like a staircase coming down. So many people have walked down that slope there that uh, that's not a good sign. Whatever, you've had a lot of people go already gone through here. Very nice forest through here. Pretty easy walking. Oh, you got one there? This is not a button. For people who actually sell these, the value depends on how open the mushroom is. Like buttons will be worth a lot more money. This is considered a number three, whereas a button is a number one. But we're pretty happy with it. By the way, you might, uh, you might wonder exactly how to identify one of these mushrooms. Um, you can see the gills on it are white. And actually a lot of white gilled mushrooms 
are extremely poisonous. But this one, you can see it has a nice little veil on the bottom here. That's when it's actually opened up. But one really uh, easy way to identify it is a smell. It has an unmistakable smell. It is it is like a cinnamon kind of smell, spicy. And just a, it's just a very powerful, beautiful smell. And once you know that smell, and, and even if you haven't picked this mushroom for years, you'll come out and you'll pick one and you're going, is that one? And you'll just take a little smell and yep. Yeah, in fact, it's that uh, that wonderful spicy smell that actually is uh, is what makes the uh, the matsutake such a highly prized mushroom, and also requires extreme care when cooking it. You want to capture that smell and and transfer that smell to the dish that you're eating. What do we have here? Uh, masks, even in the middle of the woods. Here we go, that telltale sign. They're always just peeking out of the moss like that. Look at that, you can even see the veil on it down there. It's a beauty. After you pull a mushroom out of the moss, it's nice to put everything back. It also looks good for, for others and also just to help the moss repair itself. And it's also good just to check around. There could be some other ones just, you know, just underneath the moss about to emerge. Huh? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, and here's another one. Only two meters away from that last one. Wow. <laughs> This is actually a number four, but it's still it's still going to be good. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, can can they? Okay, we've been at it for just uh, just two hours now, and uh, as you can see, we've done quite well. Those are all some beautiful matsutakes of uh, different grades, but uh, they're all looking very good. And we've got these guys too, but this is what we're really after. Well, we've had a good day so far here. So uh, just we've just only been out here mushroom hunting for two hours. So, uh, but it's noon now. So uh, time for a little lunch. And then we'll get back at it. Oh, a nice home we found in the forest here. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's even got a chair in there. Forget what mushrooms these are here. There's a whole pile of them here. I will have to check it later. See what these are. Oh, looks like a squirrel got at this one here. There we go. There we go. Whoa. That's a big one. <laughs> That's for making some soup. <laughs> well, I've been working my way up this hill here. It's been pretty tough going. But it's coming with some rewards. That's a beautiful big number one there. And this one here is not don't think it's a number one. It feels like maybe a number three, if I can just get it out. <clears throat> okay. Oh, look at that. Beauty. Beautiful. Well, we're just heading out now with uh, with our big haul um, bun here. She managed to get the uh, she, she managed to get a lot, so so we're done for the day. We're just going to uh, unpack here, put everything into the car, and uh, start our journey back home. A lot of work carrying all those mushrooms out. That's our morning pick, and now we're just putting our afternoon pick 
And uh, this bass is going to be really full. Yeah, I've got some nice buttons too. This is the big soup mushroom. We won't put it in the basket, it's going to take up too much room. Little tiny little button. Sit. Okay. Here, pick up the basket bun and uh, oh, oh yeah. Let's see. Ah, wow. <laughs> okay, that's it. It was a very successful mushroom hunting trip, that's for sure. Time to start making our way back home. It's a uh, good three hours back home, so want to make sure we're in time to for dinner so we can cook up some of these wonderful mushrooms.